I am going to start on CNS depressants. So CNS depressants is an important topic uh, in the sense uh, it can be an, a long question as well as a short questions and it is one of the practical exercise for a long case and a number of questions can be asked in the orals. Hence this topic not only is important uh, uh, but practically also uh, while examining a patient and issuing a certificate, the CNS depressants plays an important part. CNS depressant uh, is otherwise called as the inebriant poisons. So, in inebriant poisons or CNS depressants, uh, actually it is being a misnomer. It has been consumed, uh, alcohol is consumed for the, its uh, CNS elevation. Actually, in small quantities, it is a CNS elevator but in a larger quantity it is a CNS depressant. So apart from alcohol there are barbiturates, chloral hydrate, antipsychotic drugs and antihistaminic drugs. So among all these things alcohol gains importance because there are a lot of people who consume alcohol and then alcohol intoxication occurs and then alcohol poisoning also occurs and people die of alcohol because of various complications such as hypoglycemia or it can be alcoholic uh, hallucinations leading to suicidal tendencies and then violent behavior leading to homicidal tendencies. But whereas barbiturates, chloral hydrate, antipsychotic and antihistaminic drugs, uh, these drugs uh, what happens is that uh, even when they consume it is a CNS depressant and hence they go in for a sleep and because of the latest medical technology usually death does not occur because they are being found to be semi-conscious or unconscious and then they are being given treatment and then they come to a normal life because it is only occasionally they consume but alcohol is not so. It is sometimes consumed even on a daily basis. The types of alcohol. Types of alcohol is methanol, ethanol and ethylene glycol. So when we say that alcohol, we usually mean that ethyl alcohol or ethanol. Methyl alcohol or methanol is more dangerous and it is more toxic and hence uh, leading to fatal accidents and then the least will be the ethylene glycol though there are other types of alcohol such as isobutyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, absolute alcohol and rectified spirit but it does not come under daily use. So methyl alcohol or methanol is what we are supposed to read in detail as well as Absolute alcohol is concerned, it is 99.05% pure and rectified spirit is almost 90% and ARAC and other drugs, illicit drugs will constitute about 40 to 50% of concentration. So this absolute alcohol and rectified spirit, usually it is available in industrial units for various other chemical preparations in laboratories and in paints and uh, uh, now of late uh, the preparation of disinfectants. But ARAC is being available in certain places where it is 40 to 50 percent of concentration of alcohol is being present. So it is mostly prepared illicitly and then it is distributed and People who cannot afford or where it is not available um, ethyl alcohol, they go into this arak and other types of spirits, they dilute and take and hence it produces lot of complications. When it comes to beverages, uh, the maximum percentage of alcohol is with rum and other liquors. So it is the rum which contains about 50 to 60 percent or 59 percent of alcohol whereas whiskey, gin, brandy 
contains about 40 to 60 percent. So, uh, <coughs> usually it is uh, Jis Ram uh, products are being consumed by uh, defense personnel uh, because it is that much strong and uh, whiskey, gin, brandy is being consumed by the general public in uh, bars and other places so that uh, they will uh, try to enjoy to some extent if they are within their limits. Whereas wine 10 to 20 percent only it contains which is an ideal for an absorption. So this wine is also called as a ladies drink because it has got an optimal concentration of 10 to 20 percent ideally about 12 to 15 percent it is available and uh, it does not uh, produce uh, much of uh, flavor or smell and for consuming also it is comparatively palatable than to whiskey and rum. Rum is the most uh, <coughs> sometimes it has got uh, it does not have a good flavor also and uh, it is uh, it is having an aromatic uh, smell and uh, 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 even pa palatability is not good. Comparatively whiskey when it is uh, consumed uh, with uh, other uh, dilutants uh, for gin and uh, brandy with dilutants it can be consumed whereas uh, rum has to be con consumed with uh, uh, soft drinks. Uh, then only it, uh, it can be palatable whereas wine can be consumed as such and then comes the beer. Beer is called it is also known as a diuretic because of its action and it is about 8 to 12 percent but nowadays 15 uh, percent and slightly more percentage also is available in certain places.